What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we have a huge and evolving story with the most recent update only being a few hours ago based on the time I'm recording this about the future of the Destiny franchise. Specifically, it's a leak about Destiny 3. Now, normally I do not like covering leaks on my channel. They often give away big story spoilers and I feel like they can ruin the excitement of new content if you know exactly what's coming. However, this one is quite a bit different. No big story spoilers here, rather it's again just about the future of the franchise and almost every Destiny 2 player is thinking ahead. I mean, we have, some of us, been here for 10 years and we want to know if this is going to continue and in what capacity. So, let's get started here with the one thing that started it all, and that is actually going to be a Reddit comment by the user 3 to say it's just a bunch of numbers, you can see it right here. Now interestingly, this comment was made a whole month ago, so why do people care now? Well, let's go over it. They say, anyone know if Prism has been leaked yet? Since there's no answer, I guess I'll leak it. Bungie is working on a system called Prism that will allow players to mix and match abilities from different subclasses. This is one of the things being worked on during the delay. Imagine throwing a lightning grenade while on solar or proccing devour and rampaging with stormcaller and this got a lot more attention recently because only a few days ago the prism subclasses were officially revealed and this leak was proven 100 correct you can absolutely mix and match light and darkness elements and abilities within one crazy new subclass so Everyone has been going back to this comment and reading the other part of it and now applying that layer of legitimacy to it because the comment does continue. So they say, Destiny 3 is, was, I don't know, in development under the code name Payback. One of the big changes for Destiny 3 is, was, again, I don't know, for classes to no longer exist and allow any character to spec into any ability since lore-wise there is no reason you couldn't. Hunters explicitly learned Blink from Warlocks and Blink isn't tied to a single element, hence the logic there. So. Wow, there is a lot to unpack here, and this user has made even more comments that we'll go over in just a second. But first of all, you may be wondering, why are they saying Destiny 3 is, was, I don't know, in development? Well, they were simply told this information at a previous date. So they're saying it was in development at some point, but I don't have perfect up-to-date information. There's no reason to believe if it was in development, it's been cancelled as of very recently, but that's just why they're saying it like that. Obviously, the huge news here is no more classes, no more hunters, no more titans, no more warlocks. Everyone will just be one overall class, or I guess I should say character. Now, there are some huge positives to this, and also some big negatives, with the biggest negative being we're all just kind of used to playing Hunter, Warlock, or Titan for the past 10 years. Like, I can't even imagine Destiny without those three classes. It's so ingrained into the franchise at this point. And sometimes you get attached to your class. Like, I'm a Titan main, proud of it. Even when we get bodied in Guardian games, I'm out there punching stuff in the face and getting cursed walls to explode in my face and kill me, okay? <laughs> That's just what I do, gamers. And so not having that is a little bit sad. However, if this change does happen, it would solve some pretty big problems this franchise has. Number one, you really have to make three characters to get the most out of Destiny, and that can be pretty daunting for new players, and it is a pretty big time commitment, like balancing a hunter and a titan and a warlock, right? Not to mention, like, how annoying is it to have to go through a story campaign three times and go through almost everything three times. It makes Destiny very repetitive and it can't be fun. It can absolutely give you something to do. And obviously playing through something on a Titan and playing through something on a, a different character, for example, it's going to be a very different experience. And that's one of Destiny's biggest 
you know, positives, but again, it does really, really get repetitive and take a ton of time to be upkeeping three different characters compared to a lot of other games that are really just asking you to make one, and then you can always make another one if you do want to have more stuff to do, build craft in a different way, etc. but you're, you don't feel as forced to. Not to mention, it would also break the cycle of Bungie always having to introduce stuff in threes. I mean, how many times have we gotten three new exotics and one or two of them are awesome and one of them sucks and no one ever uses that? Well, it's obviously because during development, they come up with a great idea for the Titan, a great idea for the Warlock, and they know they have to introduce something for the Hunter, and so they just shovel out a pile of garbage, right? And this would allow them to only introduce the good stuff, the good ideas, because you don't have to have three of everything, just have a banger new exotic or a banger new ability, a banger new super, and you don't necessarily have to uh, change that for all three different classes. So it would potentially make development for Bungie a lot easier and potentially we would get even more content because of that. But do all of those things warrant potentially destroying one of the most iconic aspects of this franchise with its three distinct classes? I don't exactly know and people have been debating this ever since it came out. But again, we have some more recent information here. So. Another leak here is extremely interesting, talking about uh, the character editor. So, the leaker says, uh, this isn't new, but I thought people should know, character editing was on the back burner for a while. Bungie believed it was not worth the resources. The push for implementation came from intense and persistent internal pressure from trans devs. The task of implementation was originally given to the Eververse team with the goal of releasing it with Lightfall. The trans devs said that it should be free to edit your character, so development of the character editor was moved from the Eververse team as they only create purchasables to the Guardian Ranks team, who were too busy building Guardian Ranks to implement character editing for Lightfall. And this is very interesting, and I bring this up because Paul Tassi, a gaming journalist at Forbes, talked about this post and said they posted about how trans devs were pushing for character re-editing for free for years. I can directly confirm that, so I am inclined to believe the rest. And so this is another example of something this leaker is saying turning out to be true. So again, important information. Now moving on from there guys, Another big topic of debate since the original post was the codename Payback. Does that have something to do with the story? Well, the leaker actually clarified a few days ago saying, don't read too far into Payback. I've seen some speculation on this front and I want to set the record straight. Codename Payback does not mean we lose in the final shape or after the three episodes. Though, to be fair, I know nothing more than any of you about the episodes, the internal codename of Destiny 3 is not a reference to any story elements. Rather, codename Payback refers to Bungie getting payback against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. I do not know if there are any plans for Destiny 2 items to carry over into Destiny 3. That is actually pretty important. Again, it's kind of releasing this leak from story implications, and that actually makes perfect sense. Destiny 2 was a disaster, guys. I don't know if you guys were around during the original release, Vanilla Destiny 2, into the Osiris DLC. That sucked. Like, that was not a good time for the franchise. They removed random roles. They dumbed everything down. Everything was slower. It's as if they learned nothing from Destiny 1. All of the best parts from Destiny 1 were stripped away in Destiny 2, and they slowly had to reintroduce them over time. By the time Forsaken came out, we got random roles back and stuff like that, and it's been going forward ever since since, but I mean, I have always wanted ever since Destiny 2 for them to start fresh on good footing. Like Destiny 2 started on bad footing. So holy crap, I hope Destiny 3, well, I mean, at this point, you gotta assume they've learned their lesson from Destiny 2, right? Right? But seriously, it would be awesome for Destiny 3 to start out as a banger and we don't have years of Bungie scrambling to fix everything, right? Now, Continuing from there, 
The most recent comment on this subject says the following, further clarification for Payback. Destiny 3 is Destiny 3, not a big DLC, not a revamp of Destiny 2, Destiny 3, as far as my most recent info goes, is a new game in the franchise. I thought it would be obvious. That again has been another big point of contention, like is this just going to be a massive, massive DLC that's going to change a lot of things? No, it's literally Destiny 3. They also come in and say, edit, to answer some comments, I am still in contact with some of my sources, I can't share everything, but here's what I can. Project Payback, so Destiny 3, has been in development since at least Witch Queen, but heavily in the background, less resources than Destiny 2 or Marathon. Last I heard, it was late summer of last year when I learned about uh, the change to allow any Guardian to use any ability. And so guys, that's where we stand. It appears that Destiny 3 is actually in development, they're actually working on it, but it's not full steam ahead just yet. And I mean, to be honest, it seemed like Luke Smith at the very beginning of the Funnel Shape reveal was almost confirming that. Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. The Final Shape is the culmination of a 10 year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome, took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef, and beyond. It's a journey that'll end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. But facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2, and it's definitely not the end of Destiny. After you face the Witness, we're gonna tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2 and beyond. We'll see you soon. And watching that back, I mean, he literally says this is not the end of Destiny 2, and it's definitely not the end of Destiny. He says we're going to talk about what's coming to Destiny 2 and beyond. I mean, if the guy is referring to the episodes, those are coming to Destiny 2. You do not need to say, and beyond. Like, this is probably the biggest confirmation of the fact that Destiny 3 is in development right here, is Luke Smith himself. Like, there is no way you're going to make those two different differentials, say Destiny 2 and outside of this game, unless you are heavily implying that another main game, Destiny 3, is entering the franchise. At least that's my opinion, guys. There you have it. That's everything up to date so far about this crazy situation. And overall, I'm so excited for this. Like, I, I have been saying that they need to do Destiny 3 for years now. Destiny 2 is so bloated and somewhat in a good way. There's so much content in this game, but my goodness, have you ever tried to convince your friends into joining in on this game? It's so much to do. It's so overwhelming and people wait for major installments. A lot of people who used to play Destiny fell out of love with the game or like, well, I'll hop back in on Destiny 3. So I think we need that next flagship release for the franchise, clear everything out, get those vaults back to zero, redo the weapon system, hopefully, a, you know, a new engine or some significant engine improvements. There could be some massive changes. Frankly, the sky's the limit for Destiny 3. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.